Peggy 18. Hi, my name is Leon Hurley. I am associate editor for officialplaystationmagazine.co.uk. Hello, I'm Dave Boddington, head of video production for Future Games. And we're looking at the, the new God of War trailer, God of War Ascension. Definitely now, not God of War 4. Interestingly, yes, yeah, specifically not named as God of War 4, which suggests it's going to sort of s slot in rather than be the next game in the series. Many know the legend of Kratos, the mortal turned god who brought down the very walls of Olympus. But there was a time before Kratos became the monster known as the Ghost of Sparta. So here Gaia, the, the, sis, um, the game's consistent narrator, talking about times before things. Now, the things she mentioned are sort of all over the place. She says before the Ghost of Sparta, so before he killed his family. But she also mentions um, before going mad, which was after he killed his family. But she also mentions before breaking his blood oath to an unjust god, which is sort of when he might have killed Kratos. So it suggests several points in time, possibly a Hitman contract style look back at past events. Something this sort of torturous, you know, him being in hell remembering stuff kind of setup suggests. Yeah, this is the thing about this, isn't it, Leon? Like, it, it looks a lot as though, well, you know, Sony aren't just to have got their chronology all wrong, clearly. No. So this is actually an active decision they made to try and push like multiple parts throughout Kratos' storyline. It suggests, I mean, she suggests each time, uh, sorry, it suggests multiple kind of points in Kratos' history, because she says a time and this, a time and that. So it sort of seems to be picking out specific points in his life, but they, they seem to be different. Like I say, um, the Ghost of Sparta happened when he, you know, he's coated with the ashes of his dead family. Um, mm -hmm. So before the Ghost of Sparta means before he killed his family. Yeah. A time when something other than rage consumed him. And rage consuming him thing is weird because he's pretty much angry yeah, the entire life. Yeah, he has life. been angry mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah like from the true. moment when um, Demios, his brother, was stolen by the gods as a, as a child, you know, he's angry from sort of that point on. So I'm not quite sure when he wasn't angry. Um, and also the reference to um, the madness that played in that is he went mad after he killed his family yeah. because of the nightmares and the torment, um, you know, drove him crazy. So we've already got like Ghost of Sparta, the madness. Those are two separate times in his life. Yeah. A time when in spite of the madness that plagued him, Kratos would break his blood oath to an unjust god. Okay, uh, so what, hold on. What do we know about his his exploits before he murdered his family? Then, you know, what, he, what was he was he was a doing he was a Spartan general, a um, uh, very successful one, sort of traveling around sort of Greece, <laughs> kicking kicking the country's ass, Having basically. Fun. Yeah, you know, hanging out, spearing Romans. Lovely. Um, and then he, uh, well, first of all, very early on in his life, um, the gods had a prophecy about a marked one that would bring down Olympus. Uh, they they came into Kratos' village, stole his brother Demios because he had a huge birthmark, which is what Kratos modelled his tattoo on. So they stole Demios, took him off. Kratos got quite upset about that, couldn't rescue him, mm -hmm. um, but then tattooed himself with Demios' birthmark and also got a scar in the process from, um, I forget which god now, but he ended up being the marked one. They got the wrong guy. Grew up, School became player. a general, yeah. Travelled travelled Greece, killed a lot of people. Yeah. Then he met the barbarian king who defeated him, and at the moment when he was about to, to be killed, he called out to, Kray uh, to Ares and basically said, I'll, you know, I'll be your lapdog if, if you help me. Ares! Exactly, yeah. He so does do that quite a lot. Ares kills the Barbarian King. Um, he is bound with these, uh, the Blades of Chaos, yep. and then becomes, um, becomes you know, indentured well, to, to, to Ares. He has yeah. to work for Ares, this sort of 10 years of, of servitude, of which course. is when and they the talk. The first game's all about, well, God of War 1 is all about him just trying to track down Ares and. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he finds a way of, um, yeah, of extracting his revenge on the gods. Um, and there is a lot of reference in the series to changing fate. There's a loom of fate. There's sort of time travel. So there is this sort of time hopping. So, so thing. okay, we, we know what happens at the start. What happens at the end of God of War Three? You know, where, where does where does his story finish up at the moment? Well, God of War Three sort of ends with basically the world ruined. He sort of destroyed the world by I think destroying Olympus sort of destroys the world. And you see him standing on the uh, you sort of see him looking over the, the, mm -hmm. the cliffs of. Um, well, looking over the world now that chaos reigns, yeah. and there is, a, I think, there's a tomb as well. You see, like a tomb, or where um, where he ultimately dies, and you sort of see uh, a phoenix on it, and then I think there's like blood trails going away from nice. it. I remember it does all go quick, pretty weird. At the end yeah, of uh, he sort of he's unleashed chaos on the world. It's all it's all gone to cock, and then the last thing you sort of see is the, the impression that he's somehow risen up and and 
got away. And so he's come back from the dead a lot. So. Putting all this together, then, you know, looking at the way this the, this trailer seems to indicate, you know, quite a jumbled chronology. Could it be that actually this this game is sort of a non-time specific one, where maybe we're going back and putting right the wrongs that have taken place throughout his well, illustrious career? Well, yeah, but potentially there is, does seem to be a time popping element. But the the tagline for it at the moment, I've just remembered, is um, before he was God, before he was a God, he was a man, mm. um, which kind of implies again this sort of idea that it's going back before the the um, events of the previous games, but he was a man in the first game and uh, I think Chains of Olympus. You so know, you're so saying it could be like The Sims, Spartan style, just <laughs> like, you know, keeping I mean, house, that kind of stuff? No, I mean, there is a, st a strong rumour actually there'll be multiplayer or some kind of um, online uh -huh. multiplayer component. But um, yeah, it seems to suggest it's going to go before the previous games, um, although he has been human before. Um, so it's a, yeah, suggestion. I mean, one of the rumours going around is it will be kind of po pre powers and it will be just much more of a he's just a warrior rather than a sort of a slightly supernaturally enhanced yeah, yeah, man yeah. whether that means no blades of chaos because that's obviously the you know, I know well iconic. exactly this is the thing like you know in, all, in the other games where you've been able to switch weaponry all you ever want is the blades of chaos yes. really like you try the swords and stuff for like two minutes then you're like no yeah. back to the blades of chaos they're infinitely better so it could I mean it could potentially mark a quite a big change because there's never been any sort of I mean he's had blades of Athena but but prior to the blades of chaos there's no sort of mention of any kind of long lashy kind of weapons in his inventory. It's always just been swords and spears mm -hmm. and stuff, so it could be a more traditional kind of hack, -slack, uh, hack and slash without that kind of ranged yeah, combat. Yeah. Interestingly, uh, the game director for this is Todd Pappy, who was um, the, the game designer for the combat scenarios, which suggests, I mean, it's always been about the combat, but yeah. the, you know, they've taken one of the combat designers and now made him the director, so if there's possibly any way of making it more combat heavy, um, you know, they've, they've chosen the right guy for it. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing, of course, is, you know, just in terms of subject matter, you know, we've seen most of the Greek myths, you know, already plundered in previous iterations of the game. And in this, you know, you see Athena, Medusa, Cerberus, Lotus Spartan, as you mm. see his wife, you know, what sort of things... Possibly a Roman as well, there's a, there's a helmet. Yeah, there is, there is a definitely helmet a helmet. that doesn't look particularly Greek. Cut to helmet. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. So it'll be interesting to see what, you know, yeah, how they go about managing that. And what is left is the... Um, treading old ground. Yeah, the, the, the first three games and the, the two, P, two, three PSP ones have, have been a fairly comprehensive kind of whistle-stop tour of, of titans and gods yep. and monsters. There's not a lot left of, of Greek mythology that Kratos hasn't speared and, and stamped on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what is left will be interesting. Maybe that is half the reason for... Maybe the idea of this time hopping thing. Maybe if we go back in the past to when he's a general and fighting wars, it will be more of a, a war game. Um, yeah. God, I hope not like Dynasty Warriors, but that may be a move more towards that, like big battles, yeah, yeah. big uh, you know conflicts from from Greek history, rather than you know tearing Cyclops' eyes out. Yeah, I wonder if it might lend itself to almost like a slightly Dark Souls treatment. You know, something that is hard as nails and just just. A to total reinvention of the series. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I think they've if got he's mortal again, maybe. I think they've got to do something different because we've had like five odd games of, of whippy blades of chaos, cutting up monsters. You know, if it does the same thing again, I think it could be a bit of a disappointment. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, exactly. Flogging a and the fact they haven't called it four there. suggests it's almost not not that it's separate to the main canon, but it, it's. It's very clearly not number four, which yeah. implies that it might be in some way different to have earned you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. a subtitle rather than a It's not quite a, a reboot, but it's definitely yeah. something else. Yeah. Interesting. Now, uh, as you can see, the sting at the end uh, says PlayStation 3. Is this going to be a PlayStation 3 title? I, I think that's what the sting at the end says, yeah. Oh, I, I, but Leon, but Leon, maybe. I, I think maybe. it would be... It's difficult for misdirection, I think. I mean, they, they obviously, they yeah, they can't... Um, they can't say it's a PS4 because no, that's not official yet. I think if it was for Vita, they would very clearly say it was for Vita because it would be a big coup for the Vita yeah. to have that game. It would yeah. be a big boost. Um, potentially, it could be, you know, they could suddenly pull away the curtain and it actually will be for PS4. Mm -hmm. But they, they said so specifically it's a PS3, I think it's unlikely that they would suddenly change it. Okay. Maybe, I mean, maybe that's why this is Ascension rather than 4. Maybe yeah. 4 is four could be that, that for could the be PS4 launched. and yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the kind of the last gasp oh, on, yeah, on the PS3. Yeah, 4 like that. Yeah. They'll like that. Yeah. Okay, well, interestingly, I think what we can't see here, obviously, there's, there's no mention of Vita at all with any of this, but what, you know, would seem likely that maybe we'll see is some sort of crossover between a Vita area of the game and the PS3 area of the game, you know, some yeah. sort of management that you can do on the fly which affects the world. Well, if they go for, I mean, if, it, if the online rumours are true um, and maybe they do go for this 
before spin when he was a general and a warrior. Maybe, you know, on the PS3, you'll be fighting the battles, you'll be going in and, and um, you know, actually getting involved in the wars. Whereas on the Vita, there could be a sort of a companion app where you're sort of managing supplies and checking your, your maps. Maybe you could see sort of territories of other people and you could sort of declare war on them. And then, mm. I mean, maybe that's how it worked. Maybe it'll be like, um, you know, you fight wars against other people where you're, um, there was a game, I believe it was on another console, where you could direct an army and fight at the same time. So you were you were running around with a big sword, laying into people, slicing them up to pieces, but at the same time you were directing archers, you were pointing cavalry, you were sort of bringing your infantry round the flanks. And yeah, yeah. So maybe it could be something like that, that you fight fight those battles on PS3, but on Vita you're managing you know, the online world, seeing what people are up to, seeing what sort of invites to battles, sorting out your supplies, trading things. It's exciting times. Well, if anyone out there's got any ideas of uh of any of this or what you might like to see in uh, God of War Ascension, you know, let us know in the comments down below and uh, subscribe to the channel. God of War Ascension.